Good morning. George Bernard Shaw once said, the biggest problem with communication is the illusion that it has been accomplished. Welcome to Presentation Skills. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to walk you through some key aspects of presentation skills. I'm going to prepare each of you and give you a skill set that's going to enhance your communication skills. Whenever I do this seminar, some people say to me, Colin, I don't give presentation skills. I'm not in sales. And I say to them every single time, each of you gives a presentation skill and needs to match a presentation skill because it's essential to your job. The type of presentation you give each day, however, will depend on your job. And I always tell folks there are three types of presentations that you give, no matter what you do. Number one is small. A small presentation is one-on-one -on -one between you and your boss. And let me give you an example. Your boss bumps into you on Monday morning after your weekend, and your boss says, Colin, how was your weekend? What your boss is looking for is a connection. He's also looking to make sure that you are connected to his objectives, which is getting that gap analysis out by the end of the day. And so I prepare people to communicate through that type of a presentation. And so a response that I want you to have ready to go, and I call these pocket presentations, and we'll go through this more in detail throughout the day, might go something like this. Bob, I had a wonderful weekend. I spent some time with the kids, and then, you know, I had a little downtime, so I dove into the gap analysis and was able to finish that up, play a round of golf, and, and I'll have it ready early in the morning. That is an effective presentation. And that is what your boss is looking for. The other type of presentation is a medium presentation. And that might be to two or three co-workers. Again, in a meeting setting, they're talking about the gap analysis. They come to you and they ask for your, your, your position. That's another opportunity for a medium presentation. And then, of course, the large presentation, which is a group of 10 or more people, which we're all extremely familiar with. So I'm going to walk you through that. I'm going to give you bits and pieces of, of information today on how to deal and make and be ready to go with those types of presentations. We're also then going to dive into the nuts and bolts of it. I'm going to talk about what you should memorize, what you should not memorize. So we're going to talk about the opening, the body, and the close. I always tell people what I want you to do is know where you're going to begin and know where you're going to end. So I'm going to ask you and we're going to talk about Memorizing the opening and memorizing the closing. Knowing where you're taking your audience. We're also going to talk in detail about the importance of nonverbal communication and verbal communication. What is the difference? Well, let me explain what I mean by that. We're going to talk in detail about nonverbal communication. 93% of the effectiveness of your communication is nonverbal. It has to do with eye contact. How do you engage? How do you disengage eye contact with the audience? We're going to talk about that. Should your eyes go from left to right, right to left, up or down? These are things that the audience keys in on and enables you to make a connection or not a connection with the audience. We're then going to talk in detail about your voice. And I call this my three P's. Your pitch, your power, and your pace. A lot of us have that problem with being monotone. I have exercises. We're going to work on that today. Your pitch, your power, and your pace. Your body language. Where do I put my hands? How do I act in front of the lectern or the podium? We're going to talk about that today. And then we're going to dive into detail about your verbal acumen. The words you say. While it is only 7% of our effectiveness that is uh, generated by our words, it still is a critical, critical component of how we communicate. So we're going to talk about that today. We're also going to talk about how to engage with the audience. Critical component, knowing your audience. Who's in your audience? What are their titles? Do you have CEOs? Do you have salespeople? Do you have lawyers, doctors? Do you have industry experts? Do you have skeptics? I'm going to talk to you about knowing your audience and making sure you communicate effectively to them through nonverbals, through words. We're going to talk about how to approach 
and when you make a point, how to step forward. We're in for a lot of fun today, and I'm very excited to be here. So throughout the day, I'm going to ask you to do me a couple of favors. The first favor I'm going to ask you to do is relax. Relax. I'm not going to put anybody on the spot today, so relax. The second thing I'm going to ask you to do is have some fun. Have some fun. This is a safe environment in which you can learn, practice, and get good feedback from your friends, good feedback from your colleagues, and make connections. The third and final thing I'm going to ask you to do is participate with me throughout the day. There'll be exercises I'm going to ask you to participate. I'm also going to ask you to relax. I say that again. I know I've said it before, but some of you haven't heard me, so I want you to relax. And that's how our day is going to be. By the end of the day, you would have learned some new things. You would have reinforced some old things. And some of you would have practiced and become more comfortable. And I always make myself available to people throughout the breaks. We're going to have two breaks in the morning and two breaks in the afternoon. So what I say to folks right now is strap in. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to learn and we're going to walk through and have so much fun as it relates to learning presentations. And before we get started, if there are no questions, we're going to dive into the material and we're going to dive into presentation skills. Okay?